Hello, my name is Marco Leas, a state representative from Edmonds, and this is today's Washington Whiteboard. So we're hearing a lot as we work on our state budget about our state employee workforce, and I wanted to sort of help break down the men and women that work for Washington state government at all different levels. And this is our average state employee. What does an average state employee look like? Our average state employee earns $50,500, which is about the median wage for Washington state. The average employee in state government does have a benefit package. What does that benefit package look like? Well, in this current budget cycle, we're proposing that our employees pay 15% of their health care. One sort of myth that's out there is that state employees don't contribute to their health care. They're contributing about 15%, which is actually more than other major employers in the state, like Boeing or Microsoft. They also get a pension, and just like other private sector folks, they contribute 5% of their gross earnings to their pension. My mom works for a construction company. She has a 401k. That's pretty typical these days, so they're helping pay for the cost of their retirement. Retirement. Our average state employee is 47 years old, so that means that they're going to be drawn on that pension pretty quickly as the workforce ages. And what does that pension look like? Well, today, the average retired state employee, if they were to retire now, would draw about $20,000. It's so about $19,300 in their pension. So, again, based on a, an average salary of $50,000, a pretty modest pension. Uh, certainly not something you're going to get rich off of, but provides comfort and security in retirement. We have 2,800 state employees less than we have over the last couple years as we've shrunk in the workforce because our revenues are down, we're having to lay people off. That doesn't count the folks that have lost their jobs at the local government level or in our school districts. That's just our own state employees. So what does the average state employee do? Well, first of all, half of our state employees, I guess this would be like the britches here, are education. They're teachers in our K-12 classrooms, they're community college professors, they're educational support people. Now, we don't actually employ uh, those teachers, but we pay their salaries because of uh, the the function of education in our state. Next we have our DSHS, or Department of Social and Health Services. These are folks that work with foster children. Uh, they're also case workers, social workers. They're working with disabled folks, really trying to provide that safety net for folks. Next, we have our health and safety workers. That's about just under 10%. This is our state troopers, our prison guards and corrections officers, folks that are doing the work in the communities. And then finally, we have sort of the other category. This is everyone that works in the governor's office, everyone that works in the legislature, uh, everyone that works for the courts, for example, all the sort of miscellaneous that's in state government. So education, health care and safety net, public safety, and then everything else the state government does. This is our average state employee. This is today's Washington Whiteboard.